Uh, hello guys. I'm starting this in the middle of this since, uh, um, I need to wait on some stuff. But anyways, hello, all boys, Kuroyoshi here, and welcome back to my blind playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we reached level 26 and continued on with the storyline after a series of side quests. We're still going through this mine, and it's one of the longest mines we've ever seen in quite a while now. And the funny thing is, we still haven't even gotten to the ice area yet, so now we're going to actually try to get to Colony 6, maybe finish off a little bit of the storyline, and do some stuff while we're at it. But first, some more art leveling up. I'm going to go to the Minato Arts, actually, for this one. And use my level up points to level up. Monado Enchant. Monado Speed. And Monado uh, Enchant again. Maxing that out. Could have done Buster, but I don't want to. For him, I'm going to actually do his Hammer Beat up another level. And then, uh, which one does he have equipped? Uh, let's upgrade his last stand a little bit, and, or, uh, or, uh, burst. Or a burst. And we can upgrade that again, so let's go ahead and do that. Just gotta keep the skills balanced. For Charlotte, I'm gonna max out her healing at the current moment. Heal blast, heal bullet, and heal around, and thunder bullet. This is just to keep our skills ready for the time comes. Now we get a lot now we got a lot of SP from the last round because we did a bunch of battling with some enemies, so naturally we have a lot of levels. But now we're continuing on. We're currently on this very, very, very long stretch. Extremely long stretch where we have to wait on this thing to go to a specific spot before we could continue on to each area and last time we got our save blocked because we had to defeat an enemy to get through looks like a similar thing's gonna happen again two mech on this time instead of one we're gonna go for the weaker one by sneaking up behind this axe side as you do sometimes Well, the Monado is completely banned on this. Or, or ever, it, ever since I just used it, I don't have stuff. Oh my. Yeah, they are definitely doing a lot more damage now. Okay, we finally have a uh, Monado Enchant ready. Oh, great. The return of this again. He changed. That was one of the longer fights in the game there. Goodness. Took a lot longer than it needed to. Let's see what we get for it. For even going to that area at all. 
apparently. It is required for the storyline. We could go to the other side as well, but... Yeah, 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 right. So that was the storyline required to battle. Ooh, I don't like those. Because <laughs> those tend to be really difficult compared to the others. It's a good thing we actually leveled up, otherwise we would have been at the exact level of it. Since when do enemies get so much stronger so quickly? One, one time it feels like they're a lower level, and then the next time it feels like they're a higher level. All I know is that I just don't want to die in these again, since we, I already had that happen before. Well, anyway, we're on to the storyline, Trigger. And this is no. Efer. They're gone. So whose blood is... Oh, no. It's a boss battle with that same mech face. Hulk, isn't that? It's him, all right. He's the one who took Juju. Juju and the others. Tell me where they are. <laughs> you want the bread? Well, he's right here. Oh my. Oh my. It's time for the mech face boss battle. Okay. Okay. Gado. The others. <laughs> Come on, boys. Dinner's ready. I swear I won't stop until I've scrapped each and every one of you. Boot him up. <laughs> All right. Right, Charla. We are Homs, and we won't just stand here waiting to be eaten. Romanado, do you think that that thing could get me? How about this? I'm not metal face. All right. Large monsters can resist break arts. However, they generally cannot defend against a break art during the chain attack. Try to inflict break during a chain attack. An art's bonus effect will fill up the party garage. Activating burst affinity will also fill up the party garage. Press A at the right moment when a burst affinity circle appears.
Okay, time to take out the minions first. And uh, uh, first, while we wait for a chain attack to deal with this guy in the middle. Level, okay, one opponent taken out. Next one. Okay, time to inflate to break. Okay, chain attack. Phase one down. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Change. The future. Yes. That's it. Right. You got you two. Shock. What are you doing? Okay. Oh my. Shulk! What a shot! Boy. We can change our destinies. Athara, you won't die here. Not today. Way. 
but not before. Gado, this is for you. This is for the people of Colony Six. <laughs> supposed to happen. Atharon! Gado, I'll see you before long. <sighs> Gosh dang, what just happened to if uh, Ryan? That was close. <laughs> By the new hero, holy crap, he saved him. Also, we were able to take out that boss battle very easily. It was actually pretty straightforward since, well, we have to chain attack him, so we just did that. Gosh dang, that was a big save. But what about Call D6? We still haven't gotten to that boss battle yet, but regardless, we got through this You're safe now. Uh, battle just what fine. You? you and me can make anything happen. Yeah, you were right. A boy who can change the future. I stand corrected, young man. You've done a great deed here today. I didn't really do anything. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Tell me. Your vision saved me. But what of the others? What happened to Gado? Uh. I see. Sharla, take this. Gado would have wanted you to have it. What is this? Time to head back to the camp. We'll need to get Juju some medical attention. There's a freight elevator on the next level. From there, it's an easy route out of the mine. As long as it's working. We'll know that when we get on it. You make me laugh. Well, I'm right, ain't I? You're absolutely right. We need to move on and stop worrying about every little thing. Come on, guys. Alright. Battle got changed a little bit, and we also have new guests again. Let's check what happened in our skill trees while we waited. Joke really needs to go for intuition, apparently. Okay, let's see what this uh, rifle actually does before we do anything else. Uh, Gato's rifle. Oh, yeah, okay, good. It's not a bad weapon by any means. And it has three weapon slots for her. Okay, that's cool. Let's give her uh, ether. Uh, some agility, I guess. And... What next? Uh, some HP to balance it out. Okay, that takes her HP to around 300 or so. Cool. So, we defeated that boss, which was not actually that bad at all. Of course, since we leveled up, it was a mostly easy boss with... A little bit of scariness with Sharla, but we got through it. We could actually just teleport out, probably, as well, and I might 
see if I can find out. Though maybe not now. <laughs> How while we're uh, loading. But I mean like after this. So I guess the landmarks become unavailable during specific storyline events. Or uh, stuff like this. Like moving up an elevator or so. I understand what makes them go away now. I'm actually just gonna walk out of the area because I think the landmarks are actually unavailable by default as part of the storyline. That That's what causes it to be like that. Get some more items from there, I guess. And into the next area we go. We still do not have a good chain attack ready. And there's no fights left, so we kind of just have to go and uh, just do some stuff, man. I think my gameplay, in my opinion as well, has been really good so far. Because this seems like sort of a hard game to play if you were to skip all of the quests. Because it would take a lot longer and be even harder like though it does feel very hard though to do some of the side quests so I think I'm actually doing pretty well in fact someone commented on my video one of my other videos saying even though it was at the beginning that I was doing really well so thanks for that whoever that was I can't remember your name but you subscribed to my channel so that's really cool Good. But yeah, I think I'm doing really well. We're all impressed. It helps that I've done RPGs like Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 9. I haven't really beaten many of them. Hey, why have we stopped? Now, boss. I don't know, but I think we're about to find out. <sighs> oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, the boss is back. He became a regular uh, enemy. Did you see that? He became a regular enemy. Now we have a chance to actually uh, beat him. Okay, he still resists the toppable trick. Oh wow, both of them are down. So Zord is no longer uh, fully defensive, and we can actually take him out. He's down for real this time. That was a surprise, but the other phase was a little bit tougher. Now this may still be in our phase. Got to hand it to you. You beat me without even releasing the true power of the Monado. True power? What do you know about the Monado? Sorry, boy. 
I can't tell you that. You'll have to find out the truth on your own. The truth? When I became what you see now, that's when my eyes were opened. It was a good ride while it lasted. Okay. When you became like this, what do you mean? Time's up, Pipsqueak. I'm gone! Thor! Get back! Oh my! <laughs> So that was the second phase of us. Pretty cool, I guess. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was the second phase there. We smashed that bronze idiot. Okay. Now the people of Colony Six can rest in peace. Yeah. Uh. Are you okay? Shala. I thank the stars you're all right. Where are we? Just outside Colony 6. Thanks to Shulk and Ryan, we destroyed that thing. But not everyone made it. Oh? I'm so sorry. Shulk? Ryan? I didn't mean to cause any more trouble running off like that. Forget about it, kid. We settled the score. Thanks. Yes, but there's still no sign of that Mekon with the metal face. He's the one we're really after. Yeah. Hope I'm not interrupting. Uh, it's him. Metal face. Uh, not just him. A whole bunch. And tons of them look like Zord. Pathetic. After all that talk, Zord was crushed by worthless maggots like you. Oh, this one can talk and all. Okay. I can talk all right. And I got a good memory. Fiora, get out of there. Get out. <laughs> These screams were music to my ears. My claws slid right. Uh, yeah, this is like through butter. <laughs> Talk all you want, because those words will be your last. <laughs> the Monado. Yeah, it's been a while, but you should know by now the Monado can't stop me. Anyway, you slice it, the Monado ain't gonna work, boy. Didn't work then, won't work now. Now, time to cut you down to size. Hey, what? Oh. We have help, <laughs> thank goodness. I thought. <laughs> How did you? Sorry to have kept you. Looks like we were just in time. Okay, we have some allies now. Okay, I need to change this. Uh, let's see here. I don't want to use my same party as before. We're going to switch out Ryan and Ixen for Dunbat and Ixen as our party lambers now. And keep Shulkin as leader because he has the Bonato. We kind of need him after all. <laughs> well, 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 well. It seems the battles have not ended yet. 
still more battles to do and even more stuff to set up. I better uh, set up everyone's arts, I guess. Sit edge. Gale slash. Goodness, this is a huge party all of a sudden. What in the heck? <laughs> this went from being just a little bit crazy to insanely crazy out of nowhere. Whoa. Where did everyone come from? I don't know, but we're gonna have to fight now. Looks like this is a phase to fight. I'm gonna save the chain attack for the boss, obviously, because uh, I don't want to deal with this for too long. It looks like Edison is indeed a hero. Where are they coming from? I can take the smaller ones, but the rest will be like fighting Zord over and over. If only the Monado would work on these things. Focus, Zord! Look out! Rain! <laughs> Look at you all! Look at this, metal brain! Let it, Grandpa! I'm running out of ideas here. You may be able to block a projectile, but let's see if you can block this! <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel to be such a pathetic hero? You okay, Dumbass? Oh, does it hurt? I bet it does. It hurts because the Monado won't work for a bunch of losers like you! What are you? Save it. I am interested. You little maggots need to learn when you've been stepped on. That light. Everyone, fall back now. Won't change a thing. I'm gonna wipe you out once and for all. <laughs> what? A telepia. Telephia? What in the... Oh my gosh, so <laughs> We must be outside the tower. Welcome, true heir to the Monado. Father! Weak, weak and pathetic. What or who are you? You will pay for what you've done. This cutscene. Another one. Enough of this. You got lucky, brat. Next 
time. Your head is mine. You're not getting away! Get back here! Shoot! Ryan! Let it go! You've got to be kidding! He's the one who killed Fiora! Know your limits. We'll get another chance. Fine. That thing saved us. Whatever it was. Okay, good. That was close. You did well. But what of the boy? Ah. Well then, there is much to be done. Oh, this again, eh? <laughs> You're giving me this again. <laughs> well, this was my previous save, so I'm going to make it here. Suddenly, we have five new characters out of nowhere. Where the heck did that come from? I don't know. I thought it was you. Nice to see you, Dixon. It's been a while, Grandpa. One year, if my memory hasn't left me. Good to see you haven't kicked the bucket. <laughs> Put a sock in it. Wait. Dixon. Dunban. You're the heroes who risked your lives a year ago in the battle to defend the colonies. What's a pretty young lady like you doing hanging around with this bunch of slackers? Dunban. Dixon. Thanks for helping out back there. I don't believe we did anything. Oh. He's right. Wow, so this storyline trigger triggered a thunderstorm. A telephia. A mystical beast that protects the sleeping Bionis. Though I've never heard of one ever venturing down to where our spawns live. Strange. A telephia. So that's what it's called. Okay. A beast that protects the Bionis. Well. So, what a plan from here? Follow that metal faced machine, I presume. What else? He's gonna pay for what he did to Fiora. Well then, there's only one place he'd go. Galahad Fortress in Sword Valley. A year ago, those things were building a huge fortress, right in the valley. Tactically, it's an excellent location to launch attacks from. I feel there's a strong chance they've now finished building it. That would explain why both colonies were attacked recently. Sword Valley, the very place where we made our last stand one year ago. So it's settled. Bash down a fortress and smash some metal brains. Okay. Easy, Ryan. Shulk? There's somewhere else I need to go first. But what could be more important than... Wait. You saw another one. Saw what? What are you on about? Vision. These visions sound pretty handy. Well, out with it. What do you see? I was somewhere very high up. I was fighting at the peak of a huge tower. Fighting Metal Face. I heard a voice. And then the Monado's power was unleashed. His armor instantly gave way. The Monado doesn't work on Metal Face at the moment. But if that vision comes true... A tower, huh? Doesn't give us much to go on. Can you remember anything else from your vision? I remember a huge horn. That's it. As I fought Metal Face, I could see the Bionis head. Prison Island. Prison Island? I've never been. But I've heard of a black tower at the head of the Bionis. They say it was built by the ancient High Entia race. The High Entia are real. I thought they were a myth. I wouldn't blame you, son. An ancient race living at the top of the Bionis. It does sound crazy. But Bionis is home to all kinds of different people, not just us. That includes the High Entia. The High Entia, huh? I dismiss them as folklore as well. Never assume anything. Seeing is believing, right? Have you ever met one? Well, yeah. Wow. Dixon, man, you're just full of surprises. What can I say? I'm well traveled. <laughs> it's all for your future. Day and night I've searched for new lands, met new cultures, 
and gain knowledge for our people. The life of a wandering old fool. A lonely one at that. <laughs> Stop your whining. You do it because you enjoy it. And you make a tidy profit. Who asked you, Dumban? Well then, Shulk, what's it to be? We'll head there. There are alternatives. We could abandon the colonies, find a place the Mekon will not discover and live in secret. I realized something when we were fighting Zord. Wherever we go, they'll follow. We can't run from these things. We must fight on. I see. Then I am obliged to join you. You want to come with us? Us? Scared I'll get hurt? No way. We know you're stronger than anything. Right, Ryan? You bet. I've recovered a great deal since we last met. And that miserly old coot over there made me this. Sharp. Light. Perfect for cutting through steel. Show me a mech on and I'll slice it in two. I might not be in peak condition, but I'm useful. I can't thank you enough. We're in it together now. You can count on us, Dumban. Miserly old coot. That sword is forged from mech on armor. It's worth every penny. So you keep saying. It's Very long cutscene, by the way. Holy crap. A guide to get to the upper regions. We're at the bottom, so I guess the only way to go is up. Right. But we'll need to go up the lower back first. The lower back? Colony 6 is right at the top of the Bionis leg. So we'll have to head around the waist. Through a place called Sartol Marsh. Follow me. Okay, then. Well, well, well. I'm gonna keep them um, the same for now. Well, we found a rainstorm finally, which means back to Ionis's leg for the Regal Lake thing, if it'll even work. Okay. Well, since it's uh, raining, thunderstorming in the area, we should go to the Bionis' leg and finally finish off that part. If it'll even go that far. Keep in mind the areas might be different depending on the way it loads. It was definitely thunderstorming before. Hmm. That is if the quests are even there. Sure enough, there it is. 
It's in the middle, and it's only a counter during the Fender Storm. Took a while, but we finally got the Fender Storm to happen. I assume this only happens during this part of the storyline. The flashes of lightning and all the other stuff. Quest completed. That took a little while, but we finally got that to work. <laughs> Since it finally Spender starved, we could finally defeat that thing. And then for this, we need to go in here for the water part of this. So back to here because it is raining. And we need um, one of the fights because of the rain, so yeah. So this is where we're going now. This took quite a while to spawn just the one, uh, Colony 6 thing or whatever. Does this work? Oh, yeah, it's close enough. Okay. That's all right, dumb bad. So what do you know? We go through the storyline and we get a fourth hidden char fourth character, and not only that. But the character that was featured in the intro, Dunban, is now a tournament party member, which is really cool. I like that. Now I'm really feeling it. <laughs> Get it? I'm really feeling this so far. And yes, in case you're wondering, I'm doing all these quests while I have a chance, because... <laughs> These take a, quite a while to do, so it is nice to get them out of the way as soon as possible. And it's good to know that we finally got a thunderstorm that we've been waiting on for quite some time now. As far as I know, either it, does it appear to have to storyline or it's just random. Heels come back. Now does it can work at safety. I'm glad everything worked out. Okay. Yeah. Friends just in time. Friends can listen to Daza. Doesn't need to send letter to Garogu on Biosite, but Daza cannot decide who to deliver all. That doesn't sound good. I think we should get this sorted out as soon as possible. Yes, we have to do something. Daza cannot just ask anybody. Letter is top secret. Only Garogu can read. Top secret. Hit, are you sure you want to ask us to deliver? Surely there must be someone more necessary. Does it trust you friends more than anybody in whole wide world? Does it can only ask friends to do such important job? I'm glad to hear that, but time to stay around chatting. That's 500 experience for just delivering a lever. But it seems like there's more to it than just that.
All right, area map. Garugu on the Bionis's. Wait a minute, I remember that quest. Okay, uh, I need the Colony 9 one activated again. Alright, so the good guy or whatever is at Traveler's Rest, at least now I remember. Too bad that you have to, it's too bad that you have to apparently teleport to the area before it'll fully load. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you definitely have to go in the area before it'll sun. Gosh dang, it's still thunderstorming, wow. Still doing that, eh? We still have quite a few quests to go in the ba honest leg, and one quest still stuck in Colony 9 with the Sun one. It's been a long time, and we still haven't found him. He did leave for the Bionis head, though, so that could be one reason why it'll probably take a lot longer than what it would normally be. We have these nebulas, apparently, that appear during thunderstorms, so let's go ahead and, um... Goodness, those nebulas are actually kind of tough. They kind of remind me of the water elementals and other elementals for Final Fantasy XII. You know, those things that were so tough or you thought were so tough, but then they throw high-level magic at your face and then you suddenly die and you're like, ugh. And yes, I have played Final Fantasy XII, so I know how painful that can be. You being better from Deza? You wait here for Guru. How do if you reply? You cannot lose Gugu at a really bad if you use it. Thank for helping Gugu. Even though the thing doesn't tell us where to go initially. I could still teleport to... Uh, have it see you later. Those devils are actually pretty powerful. There probably is a way to break through their defenses, but for now we don't need to deal with them. Go to St. Repriver Desert. Thank you, friends. Desert interested in Ren Fane. Desert asked Gugu to investigate some phase, but Gugu didn't find conclusive evidence, so he not working. Thank you for helping, Desert. Really? It's a lot, Kai, for you. I won't let you down. Ooh, level up for Shulk. My goodness. All right, Colony 9 I should not look at.
A panda or a mushroom from Windy Cave on the Bionis leg. Still. Stuck. Gower Plain. Bang on Bionis leg. So, head into this area then. Last time I saw the Bunnets, they were actually not even here at all. They were exclusive to the left side. They were here where the new area is initially. It's the one thing that I remember about this game. Despite them being mentioned that they are in the Gar Plain, they are actually not. I think they're in this area instead, the Ragnar Cave Path or whatever it is. So I'm going to go down here and defeat that, and that will probably be the end of the video once I do so. Okay, that's just plain, Bunnit. Okay. Never mind. Hey, a time fiend will now work now, but still don't have that little sorry, whatever. You know, in the next uh, video, I should probably start doing those uh, special options. Once my, now that my party is a little bit more leveled than usual. We will give one an attempt, at least. Now that we're evenly leveled up enough. It's nice that they told us it was in the Gar Plain area. Well, it'll be easier if I just, uh, look at the quest. Okay, there we go. This one, uh, one has been around for a while, actually. It's one of the many we forgot about. Okay, well, I'm done with this video. But before that, I'm gonna set, uh, something for the bot. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm gonna set an active quest here. Because this one seems a little bit closer. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to end the episode right here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was epic storyline progression, that was. It's really fun that we got to use Dixon as well as uh, uh, Dunban in the fight. And now we have Dunban as a permanent party member, which is really cool. At least for this part. So anyways, I'm going to make a save here again, just like I did before. So, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this. Cut, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And I'll probably be over where the mushroom is. So until then, and bye. See you guys next time. Peace.